Hello everybody and welcome back to Basics. I am your host, the Crazy Uncle. Today we're going to be talking about maintenance. All right, And I, as you can see, I've got it broken down into three sections. Because again, this is basics. I'm not going to go over maintenance of every little thing. I'm not going to pull out a shit ton of equipment and show you how to maintain it. I'm not going to take you to the gym and give you a six hour video on how to maintain the body. All right. So I'm going to start with the most important and that is right here with self. Your self must be maintained. Your physicality and your mentality must be maintained at all times. Okay, this is one that should never, ever stop. All right, you need to make sure that your flexibility stays good, that your endurance level stays high, that your strength level is good. It doesn't have to be super high, but it helps. You know, are you eating well to make sure that you can fight off viruses and bacteria? Do you have everything in, say, your hygiene kit to actually take care of yourself? All right, now I'm using a hygiene kit because I'm going to break this down basically prepper style. But you can apply this pretty much to everything. All right, again, since this is basics, going to keep it simple. But self, holy shit, I cannot stress this enough. Man maintaining self, mental acuity, physical ability. All right, when it comes to mental ability, go learn something. The old phrase is learn something new every day. That's it. Learn something new every day. And I don't mean just go on YouTube and, you know, watch a video on something similar that you already know. Learn something that you just don't know. Go and, and figure out. Maybe you've never gone in the gym. Learn how to lift. Maybe you've never actually picked wild edibles in, in the forest. Find something, a video of your area that shows you what's poisonous, what's not. Go find, I don't know, maybe you've never learned how to ski or snowboard before. Watch a video on how that's done and see if you're able to do it, which unless you have a joint issue, then I guarantee you can because I do both. So, self, okay? You must maintain yourself constantly. That means learning something as much as possible, conversing with people who are smart, and dealing with the body itself because the body fuels the mind. The mind operates the body. They work together. As I said in a previous video, everything's connected. Keep that in mind. All right, next is your equipment. Your equipment is not your vehicle. That's down lower. Your equipment is what you work with on a daily basis. Now, if you're doing a bug out situation or a camping situation, your equipment is what you're carrying. Your tarp that you're using to cover you or your tent is not going to do you any good if it gets torn and you have no way to mend it, no way to patch it. Okay, if you can't do that, it wouldn't matter if it's ripstop material, but if there's a hole this big right over your head and it storms, you're going to have a bad night and probably a bad week if you're out there that long. Actually, a really bad week. I've done that. So, you need to be able to maintain everything. Boot laces for your boots, because yes, they break and always at the most inappropriate time. you got to have stuff in your hygiene kit for self, but you also have to have... If you, you have to know how to mend something like a, a frame pack, a plastic frame pack, you should have some sort of super glue or something, even if it's only a temporary fix to get you out of that situation, it's a whole lot better than nothing. So keep that in mind. You have to have something available to maintain, and you also need to learn how. Okay, videos are great, but actually doing it is good. Just like with the self, if you don't know how to do the stitching and the suturing, guess what? There are kits you can buy that will teach you, and they're actually fairly uh, inexpensive. Now, we're going to go down here to the transportation, and this is for everybody. It doesn't matter if it's a bug-out situation or just day-to-day -day life. Your transportation must be maintained constantly, at least at bare fucking minimum, once a month. Once a month, you need to go out there and double-check your fluid. Now, if you're driving a lot, once every two weeks, check your fluids. If you're really worried, check them every week. It doesn't take much to open a little hood, check your fluids, and if you don't know how, have somebody teach you. Don't ask somebody to do it. Have them teach you. Very important. You know, it goes up here with self. In any case, w make sure your vehicle's in tip-top shape. Now, as far as maintenance goes, to maintain your vehicle, you could do what I do, and I went and bought a little compressor a little air compressor down at Lowe's and that stays in my trunk it's a little battery powered thing so if I come out and I got a slow leak on my car which I've actually had a guy at work he came out and he was just cursing up a storm he's like how the hell do I get my car out of here oh geez we got to bring the LMTV up here and see if we can get the compressor working 
I said, you don't have to do that. I popped my trunk, went over. I said, what's the PSI? What's the max PSI on your tires? And I freaking plugged it in, flicked the switch. We sat there and talked for three or four minutes. Tire inflated. He was good to go. I said, this is only a temporary fix. Go get a new tire. He went straight there and he was all smiles. Something simple as that to maintain your vehicle can save you so much trouble. So that's the video for today. I hope this helped you out. This is your crazy uncle. I'm out.